Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly analysis for gold done on Wednesday the 20th of March. I'm recording this video now, 10 past 8 in the evening New York time on Wednesday the 20th New York time. Upwards movement invalidated my main wave count and confirmed my alternate. At that stage I'm expecting some more upwards movement because the correction is one degree higher than I'd expected, it's at minute degree. I'll be expecting a bit more upwards movement yet to around about 1646, maybe a wee bit below. And when that's done, I'll expect downwards movement to increase in momentum. I've drawn a best fit parallel channel here on the daily chart around this downwards movement for primary wave C, the start of it. And we may see upwards movement find resistance around about the upper edge of that channel. Minute wave 2 may not move beyond the start of 1. The wave count is invalidated at minute degree with movement above 1696.26. So I'm looking at a zigzag correction for a fourth wave and we're all within primary wave C which has begun here. Primary wave C is subdividing as an impulse. We have intermediate 1 and 2 complete and intermediate wave 3 is extending. At 1431, intermediate wave 3 would reach 2.618, the length of intermediate wave 1, and that target's still a few weeks away. Within intermediate wave 3, we have a leading diagonal for minor 1, a zigzag for 2, and minor 3 has begun with minute wave 1 ending with a truncated fifth, and minute wave 2 an expanded flat correction. At 1488, minor wave 3 would reach 1.618, the length of minor wave 1. After that, we'd have a fourth wave correction, more downwards movement to end intermediate wave 3, a bigger, longer lasting fourth wave correction, more downwards movement, primary wave C will reach equality in length with primary A at 1398. And at cycle degree, wave 4 can't move into wave 1 price territory. I'm not expecting movement below 730.4. Let's have a look at the structure of minute wave 2 on a 2 hourly chart where the low for minute wave 1 down here is this point down here. So minute wave 2 looks like it's subdividing as an expanded flat correction with a 3 wave structure for an A wave, a 3 wave structure for a B wave which is a 124% correction of the A wave. Wave C at minuet degree has passed 2.618 the length of wave A, but the structure is, looks like it's most likely incomplete. Within wave C we have sub minuet 1 and 2, and 3 is just a fraction longer than equality with 1, they're very close to equality. 4 may be over here, and 5 may have just begun. At 1640, Subminuet wave 5 would reach equality in length with subminuet wave 3. And at 1646, minute wave 2 in its entirety would reach up to the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of minute wave 1, which you can see on the daily chart. So I'm expecting most likely to see some more upwards movement for another couple of sessions towards this target, favouring the upper edge. I've drawn a parallel channel around the upwards movement for minuet C from the high of 1 to 3 with a copy on the low of 2. I'd expect sub-minuet wave 5 may hug the midline of this channel or alternately it could find resistance about the upper edge. Once we have a 5 up which could be seen as complete for this final fifth wave then we remove the short term invalidation point and look out for a trend change. In the short term, if price moves below 1599.78, because subminuet wave 4 should not move into subminuet wave 1 price territory, that would invalidate the wave count at subminuet degree. If that were the case, then I would expect that minute wave 2 could have been over here in my analysis, and here may be incorrect, if this wave count's invalidated. If it's invalidated, I would expect we have an earlier start to a third wave down than expected. But what's most likely is we'll see another 5 up complete and then look out for a trend change. When you can see a 5 up complete then use this parallel channel to indicate when the trend change may have occurred. 
subsequent to another five up. A breach of this channel with some clear strong downwards movement would tell us that my minuet wave C would then be over and the next wave down, which should be a third wave down, should then be underway. For gold I'm expecting a bit more upwards movement, maybe for another couple of sessions, reasonably likely to get up to about 1646, although that target does have a low probability, because there's already a nice relationship, Fibonacci relationship at sub-minuet degree, we can't calculate it at minuet degree because that target's already been passed, so we're using the Fibonacci ratio of minute 1 down. So use the parallel channel on the hourly chart and on the daily chart to find where upwards movement may find resistance and after that use the parallel channel on the hourly chart to indicate when we may have had a trend change. The next wave down should begin sometime this week. It should be a strong third wave down. That's all for me today with your gold analysis and I hope that everyone had a fabulous week.